Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we will see the part 4 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So without wasting any time, let's get start. So the first question is, can you give an example of on-cell edit client script? So the answer is, if we want to restrict user to change incident state from list view, then we need to write on-cell edit client script. The second question, this is the scenario based question actually. So the second question will be, assume we have some retired CIs and there is a requirement that user don't want to see retired CI when they click on lookup icon of configuration item in incident form. But remember that should be populated in other modules like change, problem, service request. How will you do? So I'll make you simple for you like there is a requirement like in incident form when they click on lookup icon so they don't want to see what are the retired ci in the in cmdp but but if they go to the change request or problem request or service request if that time they will click on the configuration item that time the retired ci will be visible so for achieving this will what we'll do we have to just open the field dictionary of configuration item then we have to go to the dictionary override and open record whose table having incident and check override reference qualifier you will get one checkbox of the uh, override reference qualifier that that you have to check it after that you will see one more field will be populated their name will be reference qualifier in that field you have to write this code javascript colon install underscore status not equal to 7 and just save it after saving, saving it you have to just go to the incident form and then you will see whatever the retired ci is there that will that will not populate it now move to the third question third question what is csdm the csdm stands for common service data model it represents a standard and shared set of service related definition across our products and platform that will enable and support true service level reporting while providing prescriptive guidance on service modeling within the CMDB. Now move to the fourth question. Fourth question, what is LDAP integration and what and what is their use? So LDAP stands for lightweight directory access protocol and it is used for data pop population and user authentication and ServiceNow integrates with LDAP directory to streamline the user login process and to automate the creation of user and assigning them roles. Now move to the fifth question. From how many ways we can trigger the notification in ServiceNow? So basically we, we have only two ways in notification like when records are inserted or updated when any event runs. So these two options are available in the notification and one more way is there there in workflow you will see one notification activity is there. So from there also we can execute, execute the uh, notif notification means when, when a workflow is executed that time also noti notification will be triggered. Now move to the last so in last video we have i have asked like what is domain separation in service now so domain separation allows you to separate data processes and administrative tasks in logical groups called domain it allows defining discrete service now systems within one instance through which the single instance can support multiple organization so in simple words we can say that like a domain separation is that like which allows the multiple organization we can onboard in a one single instance and we can we can separate them using the domain separation now the today's question is what is the response format for soap and rest request so you will if you know like there are two types of web services are available in service now one is soap and second one is rest so what is the response format for soap and rest that you need to if that that you need to give the answer if you know the answer just write in the comment box
थैंक यू